Alrighty guys, so areas of distribution, how it is that you spot them, when to take them in consideration, and what's the difference, right? Because one thing I do want to let you know is that you'll be spotting areas of distribution, however the entry may be a little bit different than the accumulation of price. And it could be because you're looking at it backwards, but at the same time, I see that it acts for the entry levels slightly different. Okay, it's not going to act so much of that overall point of interest. It's going to be acting a lot based off a imbalance zone or overall where that point of interest started its move to go ahead and redirect itself to the downside. So what I mean by that is going to be the following. So as we can see right here is we are now in a nice bearish scenario. We can see how market is moving to the downside. Now, what we want to be able to spot is we want to be able to spot those entries for the move to the downside. So what we see right here is that market was creating liquidity, some nice liquidity right here. Market was creating create some nice liquidity. This is probably the sexiest liquidity that you could ever find when you see some equal highs and then you see this amazing and sexy point of interest. Now, when I identify that amazing and sexy point of interest, now I'm seeing, OK, where is market leading down into? So as soon as we see market lead down into this section, we can see how market lead itself into a nice zone of liquidity, creating liquidity after liquidity was taken previously. So since market had already taken out liquidity previously and created new liquidity on the downside, we now expect that market will continue on distributing to the downside, meaning that this is going to be the start of our distribution right over here. So this can be the overall catalyst to the start of our distribution and areas that we are always going to be taking consideration are going to be points of imbalance from the past. So in this case scenario, a point of imbalance from the past is going to be this right here, which is going to be a overall target for us to look into primarily before market continues on distributing even lower and lower. So first of all, we want to distribute into this section before we can go ahead and confirm that market will continue on distributing lower and lower and lower. OK, so how do we spot this entry? The way that we spot this entry is by the following. We can see how market went ahead and took out this previous liquidity, creating the sexy point of interest. Now, the point is, where was this created? As we can see, we had that nice expansion right here. We had that nice expansion right there, meaning that this right here is going to be the area that we're going to be taking consideration for a potential re-entry. Now, there's two ways that you can re-enter. You can re-enter based off of just the point of interest and enter right right then and there or you can enter based off of more confirmation for a redistribution so the redistribution would be in this case right here as we can see very nice very sexy redistribution that was created we already know that the overall liquidity is down over here but the redistribution look at this right here guys we can see how market went ahead and created nice pushes to the upside creating liquidity and then comes back down breaking this right here this whole liquidity that I had created over here and create some new potential liquidity down over here. The final of this week and the starts of these weeks. And what happens after that? We see that nice test coming back up into zones of imbalance and continuing on moving down. Now we go ahead and flip this guys. We can see how that would have looked as a nice accumulation. However, in the accumulation schematic, you would have been waiting for this confirmation and then come and test over here. OK, on the distribution side, I like to enter right off the bat because it had already confirmed previously. You'll be seeing that market falls much faster than when it starts climbing. So you'll see rapid, more rapid, fast moves to the downside than you will be seeing to the upside. So as we go ahead and continue, where did this move start? So we had that nice spike to the upside before it moved to the downside, meaning that this will be the potential start of our new potential reaccumulation. So we can see the start of that move to the upside and this is going to be where we're going to be looking for that new selling potential scenario so in that case we can look for potential selling opportunities right over here so i'm gonna go ahead and just mark up all the potential selling opportunities we have a selling opportunity right here and then we have a re-entry selling opportunity right here over here we have what we have a selling opportunity right here and our re-entry selling opportunity would be at the break so we can see how market comes back down and test right in that section of that break creating a nice accumulation of price so therefore that would have been our re-entry now in this case scenario you may see that the distributions are quite different they are a little bit um faster in pace than the accumulations 
but at the end of the day let's say if you do not enter based off of this um entry always look for this which is going to help you a lot more let me go ahead and delete this right here always look for this which is going to be that next entry look for those breaks where market had created for that potential re-entry look for this break where market had started for that potential re-entry okay and once you start identifying those breaks then you will start seeing oh you know what there was a nice accumulation right distribution right here you know what there was a nice distribution right here so once you start identifying those breaks you'll start identifying the distribution a lot easier and then as you can see market continues on flowing to the downside now there may have been distribution in this section but on smaller time frames such as a one minute time frame but at this very moment we can see how market continues on climbing down and climbing down and climbing down so i hope this was very straightforward when it comes to distribution i will be doing a little bit more in depth when it comes to order flow order flow is going to help you identify a lot more of these entries when it comes to this distribution order flow will help you continue in the overall bias in the market so that way you can be a lot more profitable and continue on moving on with the bias instead of going against it and try to spot something that's not there so as always i hope you guys enjoy this quick lesson leave us a thumbs up if you guys did and let us know down below on the comments below what you would like to see next and i'll see you guys in the next lesson where we'll go ahead and talk about a strategy that you'll probably more than likely like and will more than likely start implementing yourself see you guys in the next one have a great one and